Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have yet another project in store for you guys here today. On this video, we are back working inside the tiny home. Melissa, what are we working on in particular? Specifically, what are we doing today? What's happening? What well, we doing? daddy. We are working on completing and getting moved in finally to the master bedroom. Oh, ho, ho. We are hoping to get all of our carpet down, get all of our furniture moved in, and be sleeping in here by the end of today. Yeah, this really is a, kind of a big deal for us. We've been in our little 26 foot camp trailer, our little travel trailer out in the pole barn now for over five months, nearly six months. We're actually coming up on six months, believe yeah. it or not, which is crazy to say. Yeah. So for us to be able to move out of there, sleep in our actual bed, uh, our, our normal mattress, bed, yes. in an actual bedroom is it's with, a big deal. With ceilings that you don't bash your head off of when you sit up and forget that you're sleeping in a trailer, which happens to me almost every night. <laughs> It's a big deal. We've actually gotten very used to being in the trailer, at least I have, but yeah, just get back to some normalcy is huge for us. Yeah, we're hoping to get this done today, and uh, it's just a big step in the process, the, the general overall process of what it is that we are trying to accomplish out here. Yes. So it's a big deal. You ready to get to work? I am. Let's get it done. Let's do it. Getting everything completed in here today means getting our vapor barrier down on our slab floor, getting our carpet pad in, our tax grip in, and our carpet. Then we are going to be working on actually switching out the light switches and the electrical outlets because originally it was just going to be a workspace and so everything's black, but now we're going to switch it out white to just look nicer. And then we will get our furniture moved in. We should be done. So exciting! <laughs> so exciting! <laughs> If anyone is noticing as Jeremy's cutting that he has one super puffy hand. Jeremy, what happened to your hand? I got annihilated a couple of days ago by a wasp that landed on my hand, stung me, and whatever, no big deal. There's a lot of bees out here. You guys have probably seen in some of our more recent videos this time of year. There are a ton of bees out here. So anyway, I got stung. I continued to work, and then overnight, my hand and my arm, my forearm just blew up. And this is actually the second day today, believe it or not, is much better than it yesterday looks was. looks significantly better. It looks like a baby hand. Well, yesterday was ridiculous. I, I couldn't close my fist. Everything was tight and everything still is tight. My forearm, I got some bruising in my palm. Unreal, I've never had a bee sting affect me like this, but it's been incredibly, incredibly uncomfortable and I'm having to, to deal with it while we're also trying to get work done, obviously, with our hands, so it's been- a All little right, little Professor Puffy Palm. That's uh, enough talking, yeah. back to work. has a moisture wicking ability and in case any moisture is whipped up through the concrete we don't want that getting into our pad and our carpet into our living space so we throw our poly down and now we're moving on to these torture strips torture strips is yeah. most likes to refer to them are actually tack strips it's going to be used for our carpets we're going to go along the perimeter of this room we'll get all this nailed down these are tack strips that are made specifically for concrete so pretty simple process you just get them in place and pound the, the nails, the tacks down into the concrete and stays put. And as I stated on our last carpet installing video, these help me keep Jeremy in line. is all in and we're gonna move on to the pad. 
Well, Jeremy's back there playing Sushi Chef with his little knife. I'm gonna talk about my snack belt choice of the day. I went with the Black Forest Gummy Bear. I think anyone remembers when these came in the little bags and you open them up and they had a smell. Smell that? You know what that smells like? Childhood. As a busy homesteading, homeschooling, and home building mother of four, I am often eating snacks out of my tiny little snack belt, which is not exactly giving me the nutrients that I need in my diet. To help with my own health goals and stay on track, I turn to care of. Care of is a wellness brand that makes it easy to get the right vitamins, supplements, and proteins for your needs. Take a short five minute quiz and answer easy questions about your diet, lifestyle, and health needs to help address your specific wellness goals. You'll get your order shipped straight to your door. I received my first order this month and I trust care of because they are super transparent about the research and sourcing behind every product. Inside your monthly box will be individually packaged daily vitamins that come in an eco-friendly compostable film. For information on how to compost your daily packs, visit TakeCareOf.com. I personally wanted to address my very neglected skin, hair, and nails. Luckily, Kara was able to recommend the perfect blend of vitamins to help me start reaching that goal. I also live in the very cloudy and gloomy Pacific Northwest, so I added vitamin D to my order as well. Take the quiz to see what vitamins and supplements Kara recommends for you and get 50% off your first order with our promo code GSL50. Here she goes again with her fabric scissors to uh, cut the carpet pad which actually, once again, is working really well. What happens if we touch your scissors? I'll cut you, but not with these. They're for fabric only. outside to get the carpet out of the trailer and look guys mountains we haven't seen these mountains in probably 10 days due to the wildfire smoke we got probably two or three hours of rain the air smells fresh i see blue sky and mountains first time i ever saw you I fell in love when you entered the room And when the light hit your face We were just kids but I knew right away That I will be with you until I stop breathing I will keep loving you as long as my heart's beating
Normally Jeremy can't have me standing on the carpet, but I'm stuck in here because it is against the door. So I'm sitting up here in the window, so like Elf on the Shelf. Promise you won't let go. I'm not there without you. I don't know what I would do with the Jew. Okay, there we go. Simple as that. Carpet is in. We're gonna move on next to getting things cleaned up. We can do some vacuuming in the carpet before we kind of move things in here. Vacuuming is my favorite thing to do. So we'll get the carpet cleaned up. We'll get things tidied up a little bit around here. I still need to work on all of our electrical outlets and also the light switch that we have here behind us. Um, yep. We're gonna get that swapped out from being black to being white just so it matches everything else in here. And at that point, we are essentially... We're ready to move in. Yeah, we're ready to move in. Here we are. We are uh, in our bedroom. And we can sit up in bed without hitting our heads. Sit up in bed. We can <laughs> lie out on our big king size bed. Yay! Big change. Huge upgrade for us. And it's been a long time coming, kind of like we talked about in the very start of this video. I'm excited just to feel this mattress again. That sounds really weird, but our last night in our house back in Washington was a hard night. I mean, for me, it was a hard night knowing that we were never going to sleep there again. And then I just remember like laying on the bed going, this our last night. And we're not going to feel our mattress for a long time. And I mean, I actually thought it would be significantly longer than six months. So it's very comforting just to have our bed back. Yeah, it's a really big deal for us to be here. And it's a little surreal because like Melissa said, it has been six months yeah. since we've lived anything that resembled a normal life for us. Yeah. Staying in a trailer with six kids was, was less than you ideal. You have six kids? Staying, Why would you wish that on us? Is that what you want to do? Or six months. Staying in our trailer with four kids yeah. was less than ideal. And again, this has been a huge change in, tra in transition for us. But to finally be here, kind of moving on to um, the next phase of this entire process is, is crazy to think about. We, we talked about doing this for such a long time. We 
always kind of wondered what it would look like and so for us to just be here in a, a more comfortable living space oh my gosh this room is, is everything yeah it feels so good it feels like a bedroom so this anyway awesome. we're here we have our bed back we have our, our comfort and sanity back i think there's only one thing left to do <sighs> that's a wrap love you mama love you daddy <laughs>